I'm the Disc Golf Guy, and this is my video blog. Joined by our three-time world champion, Valerie Jenkins. Val, you're sitting on top of the leaderboard by a slim margin of two? Yep. Okay, good, because your math is better than my math, so thanks for confirming that. Um, so, what I've been noticing, we find, first of all, we finally got some coverage of the ladies. I've been out throwing a bunch of shots in the woods, so I haven't been able to record you guys, but we got some great shots by you guys today, uh, which is, I'm sure what everybody wants to see is some of that ladies' coverage. What's been going on? Has this been pretty uh, dynamic so far in the uh, on the leader card? Yeah, I mean, I, it's been a close race since the first round. Um, I think after the first round or the second round, there were five of us that were within a stroke. So this has really been the, you know, the closest race for a world. Usually, you know, somebody gets a big lead and Paige did have five strokes going into today and the two rounds on blue, I, I caught up and yep, gained a couple on her and it was a long day so I was excited to, you know, just keep my momentum through it all and tomorrow we got an easy round at red so never know what's going to happen on red so we'll see. <laughs> an easy round of red she says. Well as you just said I'm going to cue right to Paige's really nice long putt here right on hole 18. Was that for birdie or was that for par? That was for birdie. That was for birdie yeah. so what 390 I think this hole is and then she throws in about a 40 or 50 foot jumper so very nice now. You said uh, you were a uh, few down this morning and now you're up by two. Uh, have you been watching what else is going on with the other ladies or the other cards or you're just worried about what you're shooting? I'm just worried about what I'm shooting. Um, it, that's the most important thing. Once you get caught up in scores and other people's scores, I mean, that's too much to put in your head. I mean, <laughs> you already got to worry about your throws and your shots and your putts. So I'm just trying to stick to my game and I know what I can shoot on any given hole. So I'm just going to try and stick to that. So you've got, so, uh, as we know, Worlds is a family reunion in so many ways. We're already a Frisbee family. I just saw your dad. I've seen your mom, your brother, your boyfriend's out playing. Do you, how, how do you keep that all straight with everyone else's game and what they have going on? I mean, Nate's got a story being atop the leaderboard. Avery's got a story with where he's sitting. I mean, everybody's got a story. Do you guys ever get to decompress at the end of the day? Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it's a tough it's a tough thing when you know Nate does really good and I do bad or you know it's a you got to find the balance I mean you know we're there for each other but you know we're rooting you know for one another I don't know it's it's a tough thing in the competitive world. Uh, I can imagine there's so many different storylines going on out there well we've got some of the different footage going on out there we've seen some of the masters I saw some of the women's cards we've seen some of the uh, open cards and it seems to be a great battle all across the board so uh, with that being said, you've got how many more holes to play? Hmm, couple rounds and a final nine, I hope. Couple rounds and hopefully a final nine. Well, we wish you the best of luck. Thank we you. We know it's been a long week and it's only going to get longer. This is Val Jenkins, your three-time world champ, going for her next one. I'm Terry Miller, the Disc Golf Guy, and we'll catch you guys next time. All right, I'm back. We're in the leader circle and leading the Masters. How's that? Does that sound weird yet? It does sound weird. All right, leading the Masters division here is Barry Schultz. Barry, you've been battling it out. Really no surprise, Ken Climo's up on top right near you. Uh, how are things working out with you guys? Uh, I don't know. I'm not really paying attention to the hole-by-hole -hole score, but we probably did exchange strokes on probably half the holes out there. Uh, that white course is really rough on the edges, uh, so it was hard to get a couple of birdies and even the power once in a while out there. So you got to play good, and you got to get a little bit lucky from time to time, too. And where are you going to be playing tomorrow? How many uh, rounds? What courses? Tomorrow we got the gold, tee times. Um, and I like that format, one round. It really helps you get focused and spend all that energy in one round. And that's better out like we did today. <laughs> uh, so I'm looking forward to it. Two rounds today of, uh, of well, 36 holes, but how, uh, both at the white? Uh, we did red first and then white, the opposite of what we did on Tuesday. Okay. Um, so we have roughly 36, I don't know, 45 or so holes to go. What are you going to dial in on in the next day and a half? Um, where, where, where are you going to dig? What, what's going to get you uh, going? I'm here throwing next... lights out for the most part. My tee shots are really nice. My up shots are really nice. It's just a matter of the putter going in. I'm hitting that all over the place and it just doesn't seem to be going in. If my putter can come around a little bit more than it has been, uh, I think I'll let them chances. All right. Who's jumping up? Who's right on the tail? I mean, you and Kenny are always going to be the front runners. Well, in the foreseeable future, I think you guys are going to be the front runners. There's always going to be people chasing you down, though. Well, Who's... we get a new batch of players every year in the Masters <laughs> division. Uh, you know, I've played with JB now the last couple of years, and he's really uh, John Baldwin, if you don't know that. Uh, he's really got a good class of game and a nice guy to play with. And, of course, you know, uh, Patrick, 
Uh, you got. Uh, uh, no, that's all right. I mean, you go. Phil Arthur, you know, a bunch of guys coming up. So every year. So everyone's still challenging, and I think I heard one of the best lines ever here in disc golf earlier today when we were talking about. Uh, on the white course, somebody going over the fence, and you said, no, that's for the junior division. And, <laughs> and everyone kind of laughed, and juniors meaning, really. Open division, yeah, the young kids. Those guys have the big arms, and they like throwing hard. I only like throwing hard a couple times a day. <laughs> easy on my body, but they like it all day long. And that hole sets up well for the big arms, so I don't think the locals maybe expected us to play that fairly like we did, but, you know, we got our threes. So, so you go up the gut, you get your three, and you, you play it like a smart master. Play golf. There you right. go. All right. Well, best of luck to you, uh, Barry Schultz, hometown, well, home state Wisconsin guy, transplant, and uh, wish you the best out there. As weird as Masters sounded earlier in this, what was really weird was announcing that I was from Lewisburg, North Carolina on the video earlier. It was just a little bit weird. A little strange. Well, best of luck to you the rest of the week. That's Barry Schultz. I'm the Disc Golf Guy. We'll catch you guys tomorrow.